He was in attendance in Las Vegas at UFC 194 when Conor McGregor shocked the world and became the UFC featherweight champion when he knocked out Jose Aldo in just 13 seconds. He has been working with Conor in California leading up to this fight, UFC 196. We're talking to Ido Portal right now. What a pleasure this is. Ido, how are you, my friend? Shalom. Mr. Helwani. Ken, Manishma. How are you? I, I am good. Uh, uh, what a pleasure it is to have you. I know you're very busy, so I appreciate the time greatly. Uh, okay, so let's talk about this. When did you, for this particular camp, when did you uh, reunite with Connor and start working for March 5th? Uh, a week ago. We all arrived together here. Okay, so just a week. You weren't even in Dublin with him. No, no. I was in Australia. He was in Dublin. Everyone was all over the place. So still living out of a bag you are. Exactly. Okay, so when you regrouped with him, when you when you came to California with him, what did you see from Connor? How is he moving? Because now it's different. He's no longer 145, has more weight, probably a lot more, you know, um, energized. What did you see out of him when you first started working with him? <laughs> the first thing, just happy, eating out, <laughs> you know, jolly, jolly man. So, so is it? Can you tell the difference? Like, like the fact that he's not dehydrating himself cutting weight does that affect the way he moves oh huge difference in just the pressure is off you know now it's it's real everything is open all the all the possibilities are there he's energized uh, uh, yeah we can play with a lot more things um, closer and closer to the fight uh, yeah it's a huge difference have you brought in some new techniques are you guys doing different stuff than you were doing back in december Always, always, always changing. Yeah, you you know how the SPG gang grows, and I'm in the same mindset. They don't really prepare for specific opponents, uh, so th we just use every minute to develop ourselves and and continue to uh, to develop new skills and new patterns and uh, yeah. Were you around him as this whole madness was going on last week with the change in opponent? And if so, what were you sensing from him? How was he dealing with it all? I was. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was not, not a big deal. There, was, <laughs> there were a few moments of disappointment uh, with the belt not being on the line anymore. Um, but uh, then very quick uh, kind of, uh, you know, recalibration, continue on with the plans and uh, just finding out who, who will be the man. And uh, once that has been determined, yeah, everything on schedule as usual. Have you ever been around someone like him who truly doesn't care who he fights, at what weight? I mean, he doesn't seem to have a fear in the world and his confidence is out of this world. Have you ever worked with someone like this before? Well, I have to say he, it's, it's on another level with Connor for <laughs> sure, but... Um, all of the SBG gang have, have this kind of a uh, mindset, uh, Guni and Artyom as well, uh, which I've been, I've been around. Uh, so they're ready to fight. They, they embody the, the martial artist uh, kind of always living on your sword kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, ready to fight, ready to deal with anyone, any size. Uh, yeah. And, and what about the work ethic? Like, are you guys doing stuff at 4 a.m., 3 a.m.? Because I hear that he likes to work at odd hours. Odd hours. What is that like for you? <laughs> I, this time I synchronized myself with them. Last oh. time I was on a different <laughs> clock, so it was rougher. Yeah, no, it's all good. Any, as, as long as we were moving, I'm good. So the last time we spoke to you, the only time we spoke to you on this show was right after the victory and you became this sort of sensation in the sport. Everyone's like, who's this guy? And now we, we learned all about you and it was just almost like you were coming down from that high. How has life changed for you now that you've become a lot more known in the MMA world? I know you're world renowned in your world, but now that so many more people have learned about you, has life changed at all for you? Yeah, I truly believe it's not so much about the MMA world. It's more about Conor McGregor mm. and, and the star that he is beyond the really MMA. Uh, so that that has definitely made some some changes in the last few months since uh, UFC 194. Uh, yeah, just a lot more recognition, a lot more you know street uh, photos and and huh. fans walking up and. Um, yeah, it's a little bit uh, transition point, a loss of privacy as well, which I'm not so sure right. uh, about. 
and yeah do you feel less pressure though because we talked about this afterwards like i felt like a lot of the fans were freaking out all week long in vegas prior to 194 thinking like what is going on here with the movement stuff who is this guy you were a new face to the team but now he won he's comfortable with you it feels like less people are focused on you in the sense that like they want to blame you if he loses do you feel that uh, it might be the case, but I don't work for them. I uh, and and the pressure for me is solely my students, my uh, the people I teach, the people I work with, and uh, we, we've developed such a good relationship. Me and Connor, and he's so pleased with with the stuff that we're doing, and he sees the benefits every day, and that that just that that diffuses all the pressure. Now that you're working with him, and, and, and I remember asking you this question after, like, okay, what's the plan for the future? You didn't really know. Like, you, you didn't know, or maybe you did, correct me if I'm wrong, like, if this was one and done, if you'd be a part of the team. When did you guys establish that you would be coming back and working with him from here on out? It's all really in, in flow state. We're all, we're all super busy. We all kind of barely make everything happen, <laughs> you know, and meeting up and, and doing this and doing that. And we're all in the state of mind of like no planning, no, you know, no big agreements and big plans for the future. We just enjoy what we're doing right now and we flow minute to minute. Wow. So, yeah. Have you had a lot of other fighters or, or coaches, managers reach out to you after linking up with Connor? I have. I have. Yeah. Uh, fighters and also other athletes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm so busy. I haven't. I'm not really in the place of a personal trainer for many years. So, yeah, I I don't really have a lot of time to work with people um, on the same way that I work with Connor. Um, but yeah, when time is right and the person is right, we'll do it. So why do you say yes to Connor and not to these other people? What makes him different? First thing he was talking about movement and and bringing it into the uh, into the audience uh, awareness into the public awareness um, before he mm. was already kind of pushing that message um, and then his own movements and the way that he can bring into uh, into the octagon uh, the various movement possibilities because of that uh, coolness right he, he you know. Maybe the something I ran into lately is uh, Wyatt Earp. Mm. He, he had this saying: "Take your time in a hurry." Mm. That's that's Connor. He takes his time in a hurry. He, he can be he can be driving at a hundred miles an hour, but for him it's ten miles. <laughs> it's ten miles an hour. Right. So he, he, this ability can can actually he can bring into light all those possibilities in movement, uh, in various uh, patterns, techniques. Um, that was very interesting for me. And then, of course, just the public exposure, which yeah. is, you know, yeah. for me, it's huge because I, I want to push this mes message. I, I want p people to move. I want them to realize there is something beyond fitness, beyond the traditional strength and conditioning. I appreciate your, uh, your honesty there. So any big names that you can share that have reached out to you or that you might be working with now? Nothing, nothing solid yet. It will, it will be, uh, it will be exposed when the time is right. Okay, fair enough. Um, are you the kind of, uh, you know, I don't know, coach, trainer, mentor that will look at his opponent now? Like, are you looking at Nate Diaz? And if so, what do you think of his movement? Uh, not really. No, it's it's not my game, and um, and and really, Connor himself doesn't really look much. Right. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, you you know, you're aware as a southpaw, orthodox. You know the the basic things, but or or certain tendencies, but really not dwelling on it. You'll be you'll be surprised. There really. is in the house like there is no talk about that there is no huh. planning there is just we're just having fun we're just moving around we're we're sharpening the tools uh, all tools uh, regardless of opponent and that's what allows connor really uh, to fight on uh, different opponents different weight classes short notices um, again and again and again um, yeah it's obvious that you're a, you're a, a deep individual. Do you ever just talk to him? Like, do you guys ever go hours with just speaking about different philosophies, life, things like that? And if so, are you impressed with what he says, the way his mind works? 
uh, yeah, very perceptive, yeah. very intelligent. I think uh, he plays around with the different hats that he has, uh, which sometimes fools people. Um, but but you can see you can see the sharpness, the the quick wit, uh, his ability to look beyond and. Yeah, I enjoy it very much. Yeah, we have a lot of conversations. We grew closer this time um, and had more time and, and less less of that kind of the cut, just the cut pressure is off. So uh, it's a lot it's a lot more fun. Um, when do you go to Las Vegas? We go probably uh, Tuesday, probably tomorrow. Okay, and were you at that press conference last week in Torrance, California? Were you there? I was, yeah. <laughs> what did you make of that scene? <laughs> that, was, that was fun it was fun uh yeah it, w- it was loaded it was fun it it was heated um i i think it's i think it's it's great that, that finally you know um there is a little bit of an exchange and yeah and connor can play play his game uh, because with with jose of course the language barrier and uh, did not allow that do, do, do you have a moment where you're like, where the hell am I? How did I get into this? I mean, it must have been very intense there. Like you're around the world moving, flowing, all this. Stuff, and then you're in that scene. That, that couldn't be further away from the world that you usually live in, right? That, that's, yeah. It's, yeah. I think it's, it's further away from most people. Yeah, that world, is true. Yeah. That is a fair point. It was, <laughs> it was intense. It was intense. I, I, yeah, it, it's a feeling of uh, almost... Uh, yeah, almost like a street scenario, you know. It's it's a mix between uh, some some sports competition and a street scenario uh, blended together. It was loaded. We were kind of standing on on our toes, and the whole thing is just like, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, so it feels to me like based on the the the, the videos that he puts out and, and and you know the 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 influence that you have on him that in the next week like. John Cavanaugh isn't even there yet. I understand he's flying out right now. So it's it's really a lot of personal time with you now. What's the plan for the next few days leading up to the weigh-in, especially now that he doesn't have to cut so much weight? What are the things that you're doing to get him ready? Yeah, the last kind of intense day was, uh, was yesterday, and now we are just keeping everything sharp. And more than anything, something that is, you know, very often ignored is the... Um, Keeping the mindset, keeping the the motivation, the fun, and um, everything flowing throughout the day. So small, small sessions um, that you know barely barely fatigue and break out a sweat, and a lot of uh, kind of coordination drills and, and just staying light on the feet, and then letting the body also recover, hmm. so he can step in there totally fresh, which he is. So. That would be great again to see. Uh, will you be at the open workout with him? Will you be doing some stuff with him as well, like last time? I will. Oh yes, that's. Do you have any surprises for us? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll play with some stuff. Yeah, the open workout is always tricky to do. You know, you want to show, uh, but uh, actually, a lot of the stuff is uh, not not to show. <laughs> right, right, right. Do you even plan um, what you're gonna do, or do you guys just let it flow? Uh, I, I have some some basic structure of what I'm going to do, but a lot of the stuff that I'm developing is um, I'm just kind of discovering and developing and bringing from various areas of development, um, movement development, some tools, and I don't really want to share everything that I do with Connor. So in the open workout, I put some stuff, we put on the media some stuff, uh, we spice it up, we give people some... Uh, some bones to chew on, uh-huh. but then uh, also a lot of the a lot of the stuff holding back and uh, keeping it for the guys. What about back home in Israel? Are you getting more attention? Do you feel like you're getting uh, respect over there? Yeah, the media has been running after me in the last uh, in the last few months, um, uh, more and more. Uh, so th- doing some interviews there. Uh, I'm not sure how much I like it, but. Uh, <laughs> You know, all of a sudden they wake up, uh, but um, I, I respect it. I'll I'll do it, and uh, you know, I'll I'll uh, I'll put the message out there as well. Yeah, you can use it to your advantage. Okay, what's the prediction? I want to hear Ido Portal's prediction. How is Connor winning on Saturday? <laughs> no predictions. No man. predictions. No predictions. 
Why no, not? It's not. It's not my because uh, that's not my speciality. You know, I'm out of my water. Okay. So yeah, I need. I I'll predict in uh, in my field. Uh, I feel more confident. But uh, this game is. I just do my work and I step back and I let I let Connor do his. Fair enough. All right. Will you be in this corner, by the way? Um, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what's up when when the guys arrive. Okay, gonna be interesting. Uh, I I know you don't love doing the interviews, but I appreciate you coming on. I know you're very busy as well, so it's fun to catch up and you know check in on your mindset leading up to the fight as opposed to after the fight this time. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you out there in Las Vegas. Thank you, Mr. Helwani. Todaraba. There he is, Ido Portal, joining us from California. Big week for both him and, of course, Conor McGregor, the whole team over there uh, in Las Vegas this weekend, UFC 196. Holy moly, it's actually going down. Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. Wow. At 170 pounds. Can you believe it? Holy moly.